everyone, it's Bex, Platter UK on Instagram. I hope you're all really, really well and staying safe and perhaps even enjoying a little bit more freedom than you have done in the past, depending obviously where you are in the world and what restrictions you're under. So today I am filming my May flip through. May was quite a busy month. I'm doing a master's full time and I'm working full time as well as everything else. So it is quite busy, my life at the moment, but I have tried to keep up with journaling as best I can. And maybe it will be a quicker flip through today to, to share with you. So first of all, I was working in this journal here. It was quite nice to have a change, a soft uh, journal cover quite a thin journal by my normal standards and so it did fill up quickly so that was quite good and motivating considering that I wasn't really having much time to journal and maybe not writing as much during May. So let's have a look. This is a notebook by Monsoon. So this is my fourth journal of 2021. So I started on the 30th of April and it went through to the 19th of May. So it's my 15th completed journal overall. So these April pages will be in my April flip through video. So this is where May started here. And where were we up to? At this time, we had 1,907 cases and seven deaths within 24 hours. And here it's saying for the past month, daily COVID deaths have been lower than the typical number of people dying from the flu. Which is interesting, isn't it? I didn't actually go anywhere on the train. This is an old train ticket that I found. And I just thought I'd stick it in because I don't actually know... The next time I will be on the train to London. So I just thought I'd pop it in as a bit of a reminder to how life used to be, maybe. And these are some headphones, some wireless Bluetooth headphones that I bought, which are fantastic. So I can use them running and listening to podcasts while I'm out walking if I'm trying to get my daughter to sleep in her pram and things. And also listening to YouTube sometimes on an evening as well. So did you know in the UK, we actually now have postal deliveries seven days a week? I was really surprised one day on a Sunday when the someone knocked on the door and it was the postman. And we've never normally had a Sunday delivery of mail. But now they deliver seven days a week because they deliver test kits for coronavirus. So obviously that has to be seven days a week. So this looks like I just started the Ali Brown I Am A Scribe journaling course that she um, has offered. It's online if you want to sign up for it. Highly recommended. I haven't got through all of it yet just purely because it's been a crazy month during May. But... I have really enjoyed everything that I've watched so far and I'm learning a lot and getting a lot from it. And as well, my handwriting is horrendous. You can tell that I was writing quickly a lot of this month. Um, but on Reddit, there was a thread talking about favourite journaling or diary writing books, how-to books. So these were some of the recommendations. Some of these I have actually ordered secondhand from eBay so that when I am less busy I've got something to look forward to reading. So it says the new diary, note to self on keeping a diary and other dangerous endeavours, writing to awaken, keeping a journal you like, best spirit and sharing the inside of your school. I think that says as well. So a few maybe to consider if that's of interest to you. It's quite a cheery picture, isn't it? I grew up by the sea, so I think that's why I like that. Well, this was quite an interesting article. 
obviously in the UK and probably throughout the world, they're talking about whether children aged maybe 12 to 15 should have a COVID jab. And I don't know how I feel about that, because it's one thing making the decision for yourself that you should have the jab, but obviously with children, they could react differently from it. So I'm not really sure on my thoughts of that yet. So um, this is just quite an interesting journal article and I wanted to record it. It was from The Telegraph on the 3rd of May. This was another article, actually. There was some interesting stuff written in The Telegraph. So this was talking about the rise of COVID anxiety, anxiety syndrome. And it had some interviews with people who had been really outgoing beforehand, but people struggling to readjust as things are increasingly unlocking and we're, we're allowed our freedom again. Big events potentially might start happening soon, although it's still a little bit dubious in the UK, but it's getting closer anyway. And so it's saying one in five people could struggle with this and women under 40 may be particularly affected since other research has shown that this demographic graphic has been worst hit by the pandemic psychologically which is quite interesting isn't it so yeah so i think i was trying to do some morning pages there i don't think i do enough of that just writing and getting you know getting thoughts out of my head not trying to think about what i'm writing just get those thoughts out Oh, this was my 12th wedding anniversary. So this actually was from some flowers. So I thought I'd add it into my journal. This is from a card. I use everything in my journals as always. Oh, and I had some wedding inspired pictures that I'd saved from a brochure. So they're not from my wedding, unfortunately, but I thought I would add them in. This was the weekend, so you can tell. Normally when it gets to the weekend, I'm like, oh, give me journaling time. Even though I'm still busy, I need to journal. Oh, we went across a public footpath and my son got chased by a horse. Can you believe it? He's quite scared of horses, bless him. And he got separated from us around the back of a horse and oh, it was a nightmare. Every parent's worst nightmare. This is from my Nuddy soap bar. I really love the packaging, so I've talked about that in my previous video. I think last month for April, I talked about those. This was a lottery ticket that we'd been bought, so again, just thought I'd add it in there. It's a little bit of interest, isn't it? Scribbles from my baby daughter. I'm now eligible for my vaccine, which I haven't had yet, but I really need to get it. It's just um, time and circumstance mean that I haven't been able to book it and get there yet. But... I'm trying to find a new car. We went down to one car at the start of lockdown to kind of save money and obviously we weren't going anywhere. And But now, obviously, we have a bit more freedom again. It's getting to the point that we really, really need two cars between us. So I started my car search. I spilled some ink on a baby wipe, so I decided to wipe it on the pages to form a bit of a background, but it ended up looking quite messy, but, you know, at least it's colourful. I'm definitely not a perfectionist, as you can see by my journals. It's as I feel at the time. It's functional. It's, um, I'm not an artist, but sometimes I do enjoy the kind of creative, just sticking things down and adding things, so... This was my wish list of uh, 
orders from cult pens and pure pens, more scribbles, some random washi tape. So that's the end of this journal. I then moved into my Wonder Woman journal, which some of you might have seen on Instagram. I think it's quite cool. It's like a soft touch cover. So again, it is a, a bendy cardboard cover, but it does feel very nice. And the artwork is actually really pretty on it. So I haven't done my title page. Obviously, I'll do my title page when I finish the journal so I can write in when I finished it. But I started it on the 20th of May. So the paper in here isn't the best. It does bleed through a little bit, but I can live with it. It's okay. Obviously, I do like quite, I do quite like using, obviously, I do quite like using quite broad and medium nibs. So, obviously, they are more likely to bleed through any paper, aren't they? So, this was the Eurovision Song Contest, which we did actually watch together. I quite like that, so I stuck that in. My, my five-year-old daughter had done a drawing for me then aha on this day i handed in my dissertation research proposal so that's 20 percent um of my dissertation grade and my actual twelve thousand word dissertation is worth 80 percent so yeah i handed it in a day early and it felt really good to hand it in so you could see I maybe have a little bit more calmer, um, more time for journaling in the remaining few pages. So my daughter lost her first tooth, my five-year-old daughter. Oh, missed out a page. This was really nice. It was reduced. It was hummus made from imperfect vegetables, which I quite liked. My daughter had a pulled elbow, which apparently is quite common, but we, we've got three children, but we had never had this happen before. So I had to take my daughter to A&E because her arm was kind of limp by her side, bless her. You could tell she wasn't right. We could tell by her cry she wasn't right. So um, excellent service by the NHS as always. So thank you. This was quite an interesting article as well. What your birth order means for your health and happiness. And it's saying firstborn children are nature's chosen winners. And the youngest child of three is 13% more at risk of suffering from coronary heart disease than the eldest. Which is crazy, isn't it? So lots of facts there. Firstborn children are 30% more likely to be CEOs or politicians. And they often choose careers that demand more sociability, leadership ability, conscientiousness, agreeableness, emotional stability, extra vision and openness. And Elon Musk, Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos are all firstborns. So there you go. These are some pens that I'd got the i love the faber castell grip fountain pens they're not ridiculously expensive they're around 14 pounds i think and they're not new but i just really really love them so i had ordered some fountain pens and inked them up with different inks which isn't really showing off to its best advantage in here but at least i made a note quite like this card that someone had sent me and we're getting towards the end of the month already, aren't we? 28th of May. Cases surpass £4,000. Four, sorry. Cases of COVID surpass 4000 in 24 hours for the first time since April the 1st. Which is obviously a worry. I got a really good grade back for one of my assignments. Which was amazing 
this is my drunk handwriting. I went out for the first time in goodness knows how long for a meal and for drinks. And when I got back in at 25 past 12, I decided that I would journal. So I know my handwriting is often messy, but this is another level, isn't it? My drunk handwriting. <laughs> Venice picture. Sunday the 30th, this was the bank holiday weekend, so, and then the bank holiday Monday, so 71.59% of the adult population have had their first dose in England and Wales, and then it's on to June, so thank you ever so much for watching and I hope that you will all stay safe and well and have lots of time for planning and journaling. Thank you for watching. Happy planning, happy journaling.